This is the view from Hudson Bay. It is 18 by 12 on drawing paper mounted on illustration board. I'm going to show it to you in a second here. So um, this is an interesting, as you can see, it's on you know normal illustration board, very easy to mount. Um, it is, um, the drawing itself is in great condition. Um, this may be a surprising thing that there is a splice in here. The paper did not age well, um, but the drawing is perfect. Um, so you can see that the drawing is just fine. Um, there is some damage to the board itself. It's just not damaged, but dirt on the board um, from being handled. There's a little big place of tape. It looks like it was actually pinned up on a wall at one time. Um, so how carelessly we dealt with these things. Um, there are marks on the side here. It's not a sign drawing, but these, this is Carlos's handwriting telling the printer that this is the center of the drawing when it gets printed. Um, I'm going to tell you some things that are unique about this drawing. This winds up being one of the things that has been requested for publication more than I think any other drawing in the collection. And I think it's because it gives us that feeling of looking across to Manhattan and seeing these towers and how they defined New York. I know I used to live in Queens and I would drive into the city and see these towers in the distance. I would see the Empire State Building and I was always kind of like, okay, I'm in Manhattan now as I was coming over the bridge. Um, so I think this gives us that sense of excitement that you feel when you're going into the city. There are two people, this is from the Hudson Bay, uh, probably the Hudson Ferry. Um, and people here are looking at the towers and just having that experience. The other unique thing about it is that you'll notice that there is a splice here. <laughs> it's pretty noticeable. Um, that means that this was probably done very early in the project and the towers were different. Um, so they were changed out as they developed. And interestingly, not even the way they wound up because there are four spires here and then when it was finally done, there was only one. So that's kind of interesting. This is um, the towers are actually done in ink line and gouache. You can see the white gouache on there that is still very white. Um, the paper itself has gone very yellow over age because it is from the 1960s, but there are no damaging marks. It's pretty clean, amazingly pretty clean. So um, I think the thing that gives it the most, you kind of go, what's that, is the splice and the paper. Um, I have no idea if that could be changed or if you would even want to. I think it's part of the character of the drawing. Um, it looks like there was something taped on it at one point. <laughs> that actually could possibly be taken out. Um, and the paper too is pretty yellow, but a, an art restorer would be able to get it back somewhat to a whiter color. Um, now, if you look at the city itself, you'll notice that it isn't really an exact rendering. It's almost like we're looking at a rendering of the shadows or highlights of the city. And that's because this was drawn to become a serigraph. The intention of it was not to be a drawing in its own right, but for it to be printed in serigraph, which was the way that Carlos reproduced a lot of his artwork back then. Um, it was the only way that you could get very vivid color. And in our collection, we have some amazing serigraphs of Carlos's work on beautiful printed paper, colored papers, because at the time, your options were uh, C-prints, which were usually pretty faded, only went up to a certain size. Sometimes Carlos liked to make prints very big so that they could be displayed. Um, in this case, I think it was gonna be very small because there's also notations here for the printer. There's a notation that it will be printed at 50% um, and a notation that it would be nine inches across. See that here. But, um, but that was the intention of this. This was for serigraphs. So, Carlos had to think in his drawing of what the color that he would put in would show, because obviously the city would be printed in a different color, or maybe not, or what the paper would show and what he would draw. And uh, it just makes for a beautiful piece of artwork. Again, one of the things that I get them have had the most request for publication on. So that is the view from Hudson Bay.